Everybody has that buddy who won't go anywhere near the ocean because they're afraid of sharks. Or we all have that family member who won't go camping because a bear might attack them and eat them alive. Not likely, but no judgment here. Y'all have our things, right? But sharks and bears are not the only animal that can harm you. Come on, come on, there he is, look. Go on, go on. Sorry to say, some super cute critters are designed with deadly defense mechanisms. And you're about to see exactly what we mean. Bugs to beavers to dolphins to devils? These adorable creatures might not kill you in a split second, but we heavily advocate keeping these creatures out of arm's reach and some as far away as possible. Here are 15 cute animals that can be deadly. Number 15. Flannel Moth Caterpillars Flannel Moth Caterpillars are kicking us off. If it moves and looks like Trump's hair, leave it alone. That is not a wig. It's an asp caterpillar, or more famously known as the flannel moth. They're considered the most highly venomous caterpillar in North America. The hairs of these caterpillars can break off and cause itching, but also have an unpleasant surprise, sharp spines. Buried beneath its outside hairs, our furry friends have six rows of hairs underneath. These specialized hairs are like mini hypodermic needles, hooked up to glands full of venom that inject upon contact. At first, he thought it was a simple scratch, but the entire arm and even to my chest at that point. Historically, the puss moth caterpillar has been an ongoing problem in many states, and particularly Texas. A 1923 circular from the U.S. Department of Agriculture reported that thousands of stings have occurred in a single season, and that in some cases, the fear of the caterpillars became almost a mania. And in 1921, schools in San Antonio were shut down until they could get the caterpillar population under control. Have you ever seen anything like this? You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, the venomous shrew. When you think of poisonous animals, you think of snakes, jellyfish, spiders, and maybe even frogs, but certainly not furry mammals. But the animal kingdom is home to a very small poisonous mammal, the shrew. Strictly speaking, the shrew is venomous rather than poisonous because it possesses the means to inject its harmful substance. In this case, it's saliva. Many people aren't clear about the difference between poison and venom. This often leads them to wonder whether shrews are poisonous or venomous. In general, venomous pests inject, bite, or sting to deliver venom, while poisonous creatures transfer toxins passively when touched or ingested. Are shrews dangerous to people? While it may be fatal for insects and small animals, shrew venom is not dangerous to humans. Bites may result in some pain and swelling, but are not usually too serious. As with any other type of wildlife bite, seek medical attention to avoid possible infection or disease. The more you know, shrew edition. Number 13, the African spur-winged goose. The spur-winged goose is the largest waterfowl found in Africa, and on average, the largest goose in the world. This goose does not play. Not only are these particular geese armed and deadly, but many of them turn out to be poisonous. So why are only some of these birds poisonous? They pick up the toxin from a particular blister beetle that's found in certain parts of the distribution range. That's one of the reasons it's one of the most dangerous birds in the world. I'm not kidding there. Weighing as much as 15 pounds, the formidable bird, not a goose in the strict sense, but a member of the shelled duck, shelled goose family, bears sharp spurs on its wrists. The birds use these in attacking both other spur-winged geese and other waterfowl, at least in captivity. A captive individual goose kept in an enclosure once maintained a territory on top of a small hill. Waterfowl of other species would sometimes climb the hill, get attacked, and then die from their injuries. It's quite possibly dangerous to people, obviously, so steer clear. Number 12, Extra Spiky Hedgehogs. The hedgehog is a spiny nocturnal forager found across the globe, deserts, parks, or local gardens. When they are out searching for food, they rely heavily on their sharp quills and ability to stop, drop, and roll into a ball for protection against predators. Hedgehogs can thank their spines for their signature look. They're actually one-inch modified hairs made of keratin that cover the critter's back and sides. There are between 5,000 to 7,000 spines, or quills, on an average adult hedgehog. They're neither poisonous nor barbed, and unlike the quills of a porcupine, the hedgehog's spines stay firmly attached to the animal. Most hedgehogs have quills from birth. The hoglet's first spines are much softer than are replaced with stronger spines as they grow. 
It is possible that bacteria can be present on the spines, which when penetrated into human skin can cause a fever or stomach pain. However, you should try to use gloves when handling a hedgehog for your own health and safety. They actually do make pretty cool pets, and look at that little face. Irresistible. Number 11. Poisonous Platypuses The platypus is among nature's most unusual animals. The animal is best described as a hodgepodge of more familiar species, like the duck, bill and webbed feet, beaver, tail, and otter, body and fur. Platypuses swim with their front feet and steer with their tails and back feet. They have waterproof fur, skin that covers their ears and eyes, and noses that seal shut to protect the animals while they're underwater. Though platypuses are made for the water, they can't stay completely submerged, and oddly, the males are also venomous. They have sharp stingers on the heels of their rear feet and can use them to deliver a strong toxic blow to any foe. The gnarly spur on the back of their hind feet that is connected to a venom-secreting gland. More venom is secreted during mating season, leading researchers to think that the spurs and venom help males compete for mates, according to the Australian Platypus Conservatory. The venom is not life-threatening to humans, but it can cause severe swelling and excruciating pain. Thanks for the heads up! Number 10. Angry Beavers Beavers are big and smart rodents who are kin to critters such as marmots and gophers. They're not typically aggressive creatures, but like most animals, have the potential to behave fiercely. Never assume that any unfamiliar animal, beaver or otherwise, is 100% chill. A fisherman in the Eastern European nation of Belarus died after a meeting with a beaver in 2013. When the man attempted to get a picture of himself with the beaver, the rodent responded by biting him twice. The bites brought upon intense bleeding that ultimately, let's just say, not a happy ending. In 2018, a Pennsylvania man ventured out in a kayak when a beaver attacked his boat and attempted to climb aboard. He smacked the beaver multiple times with a paddle to no avail. The beaver merely switched targets, instead attacked the man's young daughter. He was finally able to beat the beaver off with a stick. Sometimes beavers attack because they're deliriously sick with rabies. That's happened multiple times in the past few years, including a 2012 incident in which two Virginia girls were ambushed by a rabid beaver. Both girls survived but received rabies treatments. Ugh, attack of the killer beavers. Number 9. Swans. When going to feed the birds at your local pond, steer clear of the swans. The old wives' tales tell of swans breaking human arms with their strong wings and with their bad attitudes. However, although you probably wouldn't want to cross a swan, they're actually not that strong. Swans are particularly possessive of their nests during breeding season and have been known to attack people. However, there have also been very few reports of actual injuries, and it's more likely that the swan would simply flap its wings and hiss a bit. You may be left with someone bruising if you're the target of their feathered frenzy, but since swan bones are much thinner than that of a human and hollow, they would be hard-pressed to do any major damage. The most harrowing tale of swan aggression is the death of a kayaker in 2012. Although the swan wasn't directly responsible for the man's death, it did knock him out of a kayak and he later drowned. An onlooker said that the swan actively blocked the man from swimming back to shore. According to ornithologists, the swan's aggressive reaction is typical for the species. Still, super harsh, swan. They attack cars, they attack people, they attack your children, um, they rip up the grass, the plants. Number 8. Plagued Prairie Dogs Although you can't catch your kitty's cat flu, your pet can give you the plague. We're talking Black Death style plague. But the cats aren't evil, it's just a passive carrier or vector of the disease like many other animals. But how could your cat catch the plague? If you live in Arizona, New Mexico, or Colorado, states which historically have the highest incidences of bubonic plague in the United States, your cat could possibly ingest the plague bacterium by eating an infected prairie dog. The disease that struck terror in people in the Middle Ages is alive and well in the modern world, and it's most recently appeared in prairie dogs. The United States Fish and Wildlife Service once shut down the 15,000-acre Rocky Mountain Arsenal National Wildlife Refuge when fleas infected with the plague bacterium were found in one of the black-tailed prairie dog colonies. So how did prairie dogs get a viral infection that killed 60% of Europeans all the way back in the 1300s? During the last half of the 19th century, plague spread across China. It came to the United States in 1900. And in 1906, however, when an earthquake leveled large parts of San Francisco, rats carrying plagued fleas escaped the rubble, leading to an outbreak of the disease that spread through many animals. And yeah, the plagued prairie dogs of today. 
Number 7. Tasmanian Devil The devil is an iconic symbol of Tasmania. Groups and products associated with the state use the animal in their logos. It's seen as an important attractor of tourists to Tasmania and has come to worldwide attention through the Looney Tunes character of the same name. These adorable little devils are marsupials only found in the Australian state of Tasmania. They have strong jaws with a powerful bite strong enough to cut through a metal trap. If the challenge arises, they are capable of running for an hour straight at speeds up to 12 miles per hour. The Tasmanian devil's official scientific name is Sarcophilus harrisi, which translates from Latin into flesh lover. Hey, we'll shut up in a sec. They are carnivorous and typically prey on small kangaroos, frogs, birds, fish and insects. They are known to devour every part of their prey, including fur, organs and bones, and they typically eat 5 to 10 percent of their body weight each day. So scary and so very, very hungry. The tail of the Tasmanian devil stores fat, and a skinny depleted tail is a telltale sign of a sick or starving devil. But with jaws like that, this cute critter dines on whatever it likes. Number 6. Jumping Spiders Spiders get a bad reputation, but the jumping spider? Crazy cute! That's right, we totally described a spider as being cute. In addition to being easy on the eyes, jumping spiders are pretty interesting creatures. First, are jumping spiders dangerous? Technically, yes. Jumping spiders are venomous spiders. They use their venom to paralyze their prey. However, you needn't worry about being bitten by one. Jumping spiders are pretty shy and will usually run or jump away when humans approach. Additionally, their venom is not dangerous to people because they can't deliver a large enough dose to it to be harmful. Now, on to your jumping spider trivia. Found on all continents except Antarctica, the family Sultisida has about 5,000 energetic little members seeking out tiny bugs and pouncing on them or out of danger accordingly. Hunting in broad daylight means vision is key, and thanks to the two huge puppy dog eyes at the front of their head, jumping spiders can see almost as well as humans. The other six around the rest of their heads focus on motion, with the rear set topping off a near 360 degree awareness. Their vision is thought to be so good that according to some research anecdotes, they not only recognize their human carers, but can be alerted by waving. Number 5. Dangerous Dolphins Despite the ubiquitous images of happy-looking dolphins, don't be fooled by their smiles. Dolphins aren't smiling, it's just the shape of their face. When humans smile, we signal happiness, contentment and enjoyment to each other. But a dolphin's toothy grin is not an expression of joy, this is simply an anatomical anomaly. Dolphins are wild animals. Dolphins are apex ocean predators, capable of even killing sharks. Dolphins can be aggressive to people. Other dolphins are even self-harm. While the majority of dolphins in the United States are bred in captivity, they are not domesticated animals. They have been known to push people into deeper water. Head jerking and biting, broken bones, skin abrasions and other injuries have also been reported with direct contact interactions with dolphins. A fun-loving couple once befriended a wild Indo-Pacific bottlenose dolphin off the coast of Western Australia, but this happy scene bellies a serious problem. Dolphins come to associate humans with food due to repeated feeding by previous visitors. Both dolphins and humans can risk injury, so it's safer to keep a safe distance. Number 4. The Slow Loris What's slow, fuzzy and deadly like a cobra? The Slow Loris, of course. Its big doe eyes, furry face and tiny grasping hands are a deceptive mask for its deadly nature. Slow Lorises are the only known venomous primate secreting toxins from a gland located along the crook of their inner arms. When threatened, a slow loris will hiss and retreat into a defensive posture with its paws clasped on top of its head. In this position, the slow loris's upraised arms combined with dark markings on its face look remarkably like the expanded hood of an endangered spectacled cobra. To add to the effect, slow lorises can even undulate in a serpentine fashion. This unusual movement is made possible by an extra vertebra in their spines. The defense posture also allows slow lorises to suck the venom from their armpits and strike quickly. The bites of these tiny primates have caused anaphylactic shock and even death in humans. Deep-rooted beliefs about the supernatural powers of slow lorises, such as their purported abilities to ward off evil spirits or to cure wounds, have popularized their use in traditional medicine. They make poor pets as they are nocturnal, have specialized diets, are difficult to care for, and often die from infection, blood loss, improper caring and handling or inadequate nutrition. Number 3. Blue-Ringed Octopus 
At first glance, the Blue Ringed Octopus looks harmless. Its psychedelic coloring and pint-sized packaging make it seem more cute than scary, but don't let its cuddly exterior fool you. This tiny octopus can kill you, and quickly. Native to the Pacific Ocean, this Blue Ringed Octopus can be found in the soft, sandy bottom of shallow tide pools and coral reefs. When not seeking food or a mate, Blue Ringed Octopuses have often hid in crevices, shells, or marine debris. If you catch them outside of their cozy hiding spots, it's easy to see how the animal gets its name. When threatened, bright blue rings appear all over its body as a warning signal to predators. Although all octopuses are venomous, the Blue Ringed Octopus is next level. Its venom is 1,000 times more powerful than cyanide, and this golf ball-sized powerhouse packs enough venom to kill 26 humans within minutes. It's no surprise that it's recognized as one of the most dangerous animals in the ocean. So, what happens if you're bitten by a blue ringed octopus? First, the venom blocks nerve signals throughout the body, causing muscle numbness. Other symptoms include nausea, vision loss, or even blindness, loss of senses, and loss of motor skills. There's no known antidote. FYI. Number 2. Deadly Otters Otters are carnivores, eating many fish, crayfish, and frogs. Humans aren't on the menu. The odd crocodilian meal is the result of sheer will in which the otter wears down the gator during an hours-long struggle. Such a concentrated attack on a human is without precedent in the wild. Still threatened, otters have rebounded somewhat since the Department of Natural Resources reintroduced them across the U.S. during the past 30 years. The co-expansion of otter and human populations accounts for more encounters gone wrong. A 2011 study of otter attacks found only 39 documented violent confrontations dating back to 1875. Most occurred in the past 20 years, nearly half of them in Florida, and about a third of the culprits were rabid. Half a dozen attacks have been reported since. The only known fatalities occurred in captivity when otters killed intruders to protect their cubs. The fact is, otters don't want to have anything to do with you. However, they're also apex predators, which can make a meal out of alligators. So don't expect a waterside encounter with a placid, cuddly creature. Number 1. Killer Hippos Ah, the majestic hippopotamus. The herbivorous mammal weighs between one and a half and four tons, and they can grow up to 14 feet long. Nicknamed river horses by ancient Greeks, the animals spend up to 16 hours each day lumbering along the bottoms of rivers and lakes in sub-Saharan Africa, with only their eyes and nostrils bobbing above the surf. Although they primarily only eat plants, munching on about 80 pounds of grass each day, hippos are one of the most aggressive animals on earth. They're famous for it. They can snap a canoe like a twig with their powerful jaws and they kill about 500 people in Africa each year. The reputation that these gentle herbivores spend their lives lolling about in muddy tropical waters, keeping to themselves, really isn't accurate. Hippos are remarkably agile and aggressive, with zero chill. They occasionally kill or scavenge impala, and maybe even buffalo. Sometimes they even kill humans, and on nightly adventures out of the water, hippos trek miles to nibble on tasty vegetation, including human crops as well. So, humans and hippos, not so great neighbors. Those were 15 cute animals that can be deadly. Thanks for watching.